So in keeping up with the current trend that we have going on this channel, we're going to go ahead and throw it back one more time. We've already done NBA Live 16. We've done NBA Live 15, and we've already said that NBA Live 16 might be the best one on this generation, but NBA Live 10 was definitely the best NBA Live of last generation, and a lot of people still consider NBA Live 10 to be the best NBA Live to date. Now, as always, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Do you guys agree with that? Did you guys even play NBA Live 10 back in the day? But in my opinion, in my personal opinion, NBA Live 10 is definitely one of my favorite NBA Lives. Without a doubt, I'd put it in the top two. Maybe NBA Live 05 or 04 is my number one spot just because I'm very nostalgic about that when I was playing that as a kid. But NBA Live 10 is definitely up there. And it, the reason I say that is because it's so good in a lot of different ways. I believe it was the one year that they had a really tight race with NBA 2K in terms of like which game is actually better. There was a lot of debate when it was 2K10 and NBA Live 10. So the reason NBA Live 10, in my opinion, is as good as it is, is because there's so much control over your player. You can control his layups, you can control their signature size ups, right? All the star players had a signature size up, they had signature jumpers as well. There was just a lot of control over your player. And the graphics looked good, the player models looked good as well, and the presentation was nice to go along with that. Now we're doing the NBA Finals presentation, you can see that it had its own little presentation package where the players would come out, the starting five, and you would have their stats showing up underneath them, and the main player would be in the middle of the screen, you see Kobe Bryant right there. I said, you know what, let me throw it back to the Lakers, you know, when they were dominant, they had Kobe Bryant, Paul Gasol, they had the nice little lineup over there. So I figured the Hornets and the Lakers would be a decent matchup to watch. Now, it's an old game, right? You know, there's still some robotic animations here and there. That's something that NBA Live has always dealt with in terms of a legacy issue. NBA Live has always had a tough time with, you know, animations going in and out. There's no smoothness to them. That was existing on NBA Live 10 as well. But you know what? It was fine because it wasn't to a crazy extent. You can see the signature size up right here with Kobe Bryant. I'm trying to drive with them, man. I was trying to take over with Kobe Bryant. I was having a little tough time. Mo Peterson just playing some good defense on that one. My goodness, bro. Let me put on a highlight reel. I'm trying to impress my subs. And this is happening. So Yakovic takes it on the other end. I said, let me come right back. I'm going to slow walk this one. Go into my signature size up one more time. I'm not going to let him stop me this time, man. I'm going behind the back. I said, you know what? Let me fade away off the backboard. Vintage Kobe Bryant right there. There was nothing Mo Peterson could have done to stop me. Look at the split in the double team going up, but Dan sent away. But look at Bynum. He's there on the rebound and the putback. You guys remember Andrew Bynum? Man, he just said, you know what? I'm done playing ball. I'm going to go do something else. He straight retired in his 20s. That was crazy. But either way, it's 4-6 to six right now. The Hornets are down by two points. They go to Stajakovic. Little jumper on the inside. That is all net. So as you guys are watching the gameplay right now, let me know what you guys think. As always, I want your guys' opinion. One thing I was considering doing, and I'm going to base this completely off how many likes it gets on the video, right? If you guys want to see it, leave a like on the video. But I was thinking about doing a very short Dynasty Mode series on NBA Live 10. Nothing too crazy because we got NBA Live 20, we got 2K20 and Madden 20 literally right around the corner a month or two away. So with that being said, I was thinking about doing like a little uh, six week to eight week series of NBA Live, 10, NBA Live 10 franchise mode with any team. I haven't decided what team I'm going to play with, but if you guys want to see a mini franchise mode, leave a like on this video and we'll try to make it happen. Actually, we're not going to try. We're going to make it happen. I don't know what team yet, and I, I don't know if you guys actually want to see it just yet. So if you do, make sure to vote. Hit that like button. That counts as your vote, and we'll get something together. Like I said, a very short series, nothing crazy, only about eight weeks up until those new games come out. So with that being said, you guys have seen plenty of gameplay so far. Let me know what you guys are thinking, man. You can see why it's one of the better NBA lives. Look at this. They even had a post game. They had an up and under on NBA Live 10. We don't even get that on NBA Live 19, man. Well, we do, but it's like very rare, and you know, the post game on NBA Live 19 is very, very shallow. There isn't much depth to it, but the Horn has got themselves a nice little six-point lead. Some good defense on this possession. About time. You know, I picked up this controller. I didn't really remember how to play this game, but we're holding our own. We're playing on All-Star right now. We're playing some good defense. Mo Peterson picks up the free throw line jumper. He's going to miss it. 
Oh, look at Kobe. He's going to put on the Jets, man. He said, let me take off real quick. He says, let me cross over. Go behind the back. And oh, my goodness. A little two-hander from Kobe Bryant, man. Young and athletic. Thrown down. Huge dunks right there. 22 apiece right now. Look at Sirakovic getting that one sent away. However, David West picks it up. Puts it back in, man. Nice little fadeaway right there. The Hornets take a two-point lead. Chris Paul slicing up the defense. Puts them up by four points. So we come right back. Kobe Bryant. It's his time to take over. It's late in the fourth. This is what he's good at. So I'm like, let me fade away real quick. And we're going to miss. But Bynum is there for the rebound. He picks it back up. And he, he turns it over. So the Hornets coming back. Looking to end this one. And you know what? They might just do that. Stojakovic is struggling. Almost turns it over. But it goes straight to David West. Who says, let me take this all the way to the rim. And just like that, PSG family, it is a wrap. So as I said earlier, if you guys want to see more of this game, leave a like. We'll see what we can do. And as always, I want to hear you guys' thoughts about this game. Right? It's an old game. Who played it? Who liked it? Why is it your favorite? Why is it not your favorite? And etc. etc. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.